almost Christmas. Um, and I think in here is my Christmas background for my coming mini sessions. Here we go. Super excited. If this is the Christmas background I am expecting, I'm gonna need a model soon to create my ad for my Christmas mini sessions. So let's open it. So the backdrop is, yes, it's inside out. It's like a fabric material. I tested out a background from this supplier before. Uh, I will link the video somewhere here or here. I will link the video here. I will link the video here. I can cut which one it is. Anyway, so here is the background. Um, it's like a, a fabric and you can actually like stretch it out and put clamps on the side. Um, so I might just do that. So this background system is currently about two meters wide. Um, this backdrop should be three meters wide. So I'm actually gonna use my other backdrop system which you can enlarge, but it still has the cake smash backdrop on there right now. So I'm just gonna show here what it looks like. So this material is not suitable for cake smashes, I think because it's a fabric and it's not vinyl, like thick vinyl, which I usually use, but this is just like a thinner, no, it's not, a, it's not like thin, but it's like a fabric. Um, and you stretch it out and then it doesn't show any wrinkles. It is three meters wide and three meters long. And I love how warm it is and cozy looking. I can just place like some real, props in the front, like maybe a package or a teddy bear. Um, super cool. It's Christmas, people. I'm in my living room with my fireplace and my Christmas tree. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna head off to the studio to do some Christmas photos with the kids. I have a book that they can pretend to read, Oliver Twist, uh, because of the color of the book. Got some blankets, extra basket. Got some gift wrap in case we have to pretend to wrap presents. And I got some fake candles um, and some pajamas and we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so today is Sunday and we're in the studio to take a test shot of the Christmas background. So maybe I can use it in my uh, ad for my Christmas mini sessions. So first I'm gonna throw on the Christmas background here. The kids are changing into some Christmas pajamas. Um, and um, we'll just see what it looks like. It would be cool to get our puppy in here as well, but I just wanna try some test shots. And then if the final decor is ready on the mini sessions day, maybe the end of the day, we'll get our kids again into the studio with the puppy and then take a photo of them together, but not today. Okay, so throwing on this background is not too hard it doesn't show any wrinkles but now the problem is that um, you can see it running into the floor and then it stops of course I don't have exactly the same floor to continue it and make sure that I have a complete setup so I have my old wooden panels that I used to have there and I'm gonna place them in the floor but then it's very clear to see where the floor ends and the backdrop starts so I'm gonna see if I can put some stuff in front of it and then make it look realistic. Uh, but that's gonna be the challenge today. So um, we're just gonna try it out.
Okay, so we took some photos of these handsome kids in their Christmas pajamas. Um, I think it looked way better when they were sitting on the floor. Like I put a flocati on the floor and just some blankets because the couch is just too bright and too real. Um, and the background looks more like a painting. So that looked really fake. Uh, but it's still gonna be challenging in editing to make it look real. Uh, Close-ups are fine because then you get you photograph with an aperture of 3.2, for example, which adds to the blurriness, of, for example, these little props and then the background kind of blends in. So that's very pretty. Um, now that I'm taking photos here, I don't know if I want to do like families together or just the kids. So it's just mini sessions for kids. Um, one outfit, uh, Christmas pajamas. Yeah, you can papa too. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see what the final photo looks like. Thank you so much again, my model. I have two beautiful models. That's the advantage of having kids when you're a photographer. Um. Okay, so here you can see some of the images that I picked out, which I really liked. Of course, there were many more. Uh, then I opened them with Picasa, which is like an old program that they discontinued, but you can still download the latest version. And I always use it to make my uh, collages. Uh, so I just selected at the images I wanted to have in my collage and then I would play around uh, with the order like I didn't use all of the images but I wanted to give like you know an idea of what we could do during the mini sessions of the kids individually and the kids together um, so yeah I created little white lines in between the photo just photos just because I liked it um, then I saved the collage of course and later on I opened it in Photoshop and then I just edit um, the title, the Christmas minis and underneath I placed, um, you know, the price and uh, how long the sessions take and what is included and then the rest of the information was on Facebook. They were booked within half, like half an hour pretty much, like a few minutes, I don't know, 15 minutes. I received so many messages and I only have limited spots uh, and that was in the ad as well that you know full is full and um, yeah I told people to bring their own pajamas and that it's mostly for the kids we can squeeze in a family portrait as well so yeah thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you liked it please like subscribe leave a comment check out the backdrops from the website I'll put in the screen right now because that's where I got the Christmas drop from <laughs> And um, yeah, just let me know what you're going to do for Christmas. Are you going to do minis, families together, inside the studio or outside, or just kids? Um, I also could do like a plain white backdrop and then just have some Christmas lights in the back and do that for the families and then the kids just together in this decor. I might do that so that they still can have a family portrait with just some Christmas lights in the back and just a white background. Very pure, simple and timeless. And then I might have this drop for the kids only. Um, so that we have two different drops to use in the studio. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'd love to read your comments. Bye bye.